Hello everyone, this is Wistful Dale here, and today I have something uh, kind of special for you to show you guys, because I finally got myself a new mouse keyboard as well as a custom mouse pad, and it's been at least a month now since I've had these things, these new items, and I'm sorry I didn't show you guys it sooner, I'm kind of still inconsistent with, um, with, um, <coughs> excuse me, me, um, uploading, I was still a little inconsistent at the time, plus I wanted to make sure they each work perfectly fine and everything, and they still do, obviously, but, um, anyway, I finally got myself a new mouse, a new mouse pad, a mouse, and a new keyboard, so, what I have here, this is my uh, new mouse, I showed you guys this, I showed you guys this earlier before, but I'm just going to let you guys get a better, um, just a better detail of it. And what I really like about this mouse is that it's not only wireless, it has its own... I keep it down here for a reason. I don't even know if you folks can see it, but, um, let me adjust the camera here. It has its own, uh, cord attachment that I can attach it to whenever it gets low. So, I don't know if you folks can see, but at the very front there... Um, I don't know if you can see it, I guess you can kind of see it, let me move over to here maybe, to my white, maybe it can be easier for you folks to see and whatnot, um, I guess you can kind of see it if you look closely, yeah, there's that little piece right there that I can just plug it right in and it charges right away, there's a different pieces to it. There's this guy which I like to keep in and um, there's another section piece. I have it up here. I thought I had it up here. Yeah it is. Yeah this guy. There's also this guy here that I um, I can attach it to. It has like built-in magnets. It's like a magnet foam that it has. Ah, excuse me. And as well as, I didn't notice before when I first got it, but I can put this little guy, this little USB guy, um, into this. And this is usually for the wireless one that I can plug in, but I can't, for some reason, whenever I plug this guy in, or one of my new stuff in, one of the other things acts goofy, like I can have... And it goes the same with my keyboard. It has this little, these little USB micro guys in as well. And whenever I try to plug them in or whatever, it acts goofy. It's either my headphones that can't function or my webcam. It's like a choose your, way, choose your own fate kind of thing. So that kind of sucks. But luckily, this guy has Bluetooth. And um, I can easily just pop this little piece in and out it snaps right back on which is nice and it has uh, free settings here if you guys can see if my camera can focus on it yeah there we go so I have uh, I have it set to Bluetooth now luckily I have a powerful enough motherboard that it supports Bluetooth so I'm able to set it to Bluetooth or I can set it to just power which is pretty much off I have to have it plugged in in order for that to work and um, a wireless. So there's actually there's three ways for both my mouse and keyboard to work as well. So I can either do it through Bluetooth, which is built into my motherboard, or I can have it be wireless, which is the little uh, USB guy. I keep it in there so I don't lose it. Because goodness forbid they make these things smaller and smaller each time we reach a new excuse me, evolution of technology, or I can just do it wired, but I like to have it wireless because then it's more free-flowing and everything. I don't have to worry so much about, even though I don't spam my mouse so much all over the place, make it wiggle around and stuff, it's a lot more smooth and refreshing to know I can just pretty much go anywhere and whatnot with this mouse. I can even set it down here on my desk. I can have it all the way back to my stereo back there and whatnot, and it will still work just fine. So that's my mouse guy. Also has some lights, light ups as well. Um, I 
forgot what the brand was already. Corsona, whatever it's called, something with the C. I cannot remember, but uh, hold on, I have it on my keyboard. Corsair, Corsair. It has the ship logo, pirate ship symbol that they have, and it lights it um, right up. These two guys over here on the side here that you guys can see is like a, it's like a page, um, kind of, it's a web page button, so I don't have to go up to like back page or forward page up at the top left corner when you're on a web browser. I can just press one of the two and take me right there immediately. These two smaller guys on the corner edge over here, I don't know if you folks can see it. But like these here, um, oh, I pressed the wrong button. But yeah, these here, this makes my cursor more sensitive. And so what it does is that these are like, so I can have this be really fast or faster or just kind of standard. So that's what these guys are. And then there's this middle button here that's underneath the, um, the wheel here that, has different varieties of settings. I can have the light up B as well as different speeds for my um, my sensitivity cursor. So I can either have it be fast and whatnot, have it be like this, or just have it be like this slowly, which I also like. It can also changes the colors here on this on the side, which I don't fully quite understand. Dark blue. Now I'm back to red. Um, but yeah, that's my mouse. And then for my keyboard, I'm going to, I think I can disconnect it because I have Bluetooth. I think I have Bluetooth connected to this guy. Yeah, I do. That's another thing too as well. Um, if you look over, this is my keyboard. If you see that blue dot right there, that means it's uh, Bluetooth. And that goes the same thing with my uh, mouse. Just right over here. You see that little guy in between the wheel and the button that's the um that's it also does the same thing so whenever it's um powered on it'll turn green or yellow or red i believe which is a indicator of how much battery i have within these devices and if i have the wireless usb connected it'll it'll turn white meaning that it's connected to that and if it's Bluetooth well then it'll just turn blue and um, this guy over here the white is usually green when and same thing with this one as well just like with the mouse and what I like about this keyboard is that it's nice and functional it's wireless it has its own um, wrist hand on it has its own wrist Rester over here as well as some buttons. I have a different varieties of options as well. I kind of forgot What the settings were, but I can also change these guys. I can change the Colors as well as some buttons. I cannot remember. It's like wait hold on a second. I Think it's F something. Let me see real fast FN excuse me FN one two. Yeah, there we go so oh. Oh, okay, I guess I'm, I don't mind, the wrist can come off a little bit, it's kind of easier to hold. So these guys, damn it, pressing all the buttons here, so if I hold FN and do like F3, F2, whatnot, I have a different, yeah, variety to choose from, which is nice. So you don't have to always necessarily have the software, the, um, built in not built in but you don't have to download the software necessarily you can just choose the different varieties I like to keep it on free because it's nice and smooth I love the rainbow effects and also has um, it's a lot wider too and it's a lot more efficient to show you guys since that it's also wireless so um there's the um, MR button I forgot what that is um, as well as I can change the light the light effects within this keyboard so I can never have it be off, um, mild, medium, or very bright, which is really efficient. Have my number pack lock, have your tap, have your capitals lock, light, and everything there. 
I have also have some media media buttons over here with the volume, press play, etc. and all of that. And as well as I have this guy. I don't know if you guys can see. I'm not aiming correctly with my hands. But um there's also this yeah, this guy right here, which is for the USB um wireless, but I like to have this plugged in since I'm not gonna be moving this guy around anytime soon or anything too much. There's also a power button. Not a power button, a power switch that I can uh, disconnect and reconnect it. Ah, God, excuse, excuse me, and everything. And I also have these G, 6G number keys over here at the edge, which I don't really fully understand. I never really fully understood it. My guess is that there's like certain commands that you can put in. I don't know if you need the actual software for it or whatnot. But there's like certain commands that you can put in and everything. And here's the arm. Not the arm, the wrist. The wrist holder to where you can... Um... So yeah, that's my keyboard. Oh. Alright, I'm sorry from these awkward cuts and everything. I keep pressing, I swear I keep pressing the button or whatever that makes the video kind of awkward. I'm going to plug this guy. Actually, no, I screw that. I'm just going to leave it here with Bluetooth. It should be perfectly fine. So yeah, there's my keyboard and mouse. I'm sorry this video kind of has awkward cuts because I did not realize that I was kind of messing with the... I wasn't meaning to, but I was kind of sort of messing up with the on and off button of recording so that's my keyboard and that's my mouse but um anyway the real funny thing i want to show you folks here as well is my new mouse pad that i got this big boy right here let me wipe it off and back up from the screen here because this is a big boy yeah look at that this is really cool this is a custom mouse pad I got from, um, oh, what was that place called? Spixel, whatever, or something. Um, I saw this from a, a YouTuber that also made um, a video talking about the custom mouse pads and everything that you can get from uh, these guys. And, um, and I'm really liking it so far. It's definitely high quality. What was it? Dirty already or something? There's something there. Not sure what it is. But um anyway, I decided to get this as my um custom mouse pad. It's my um it's my YouTube cover or whatever at the top for um, for uh, my uh YouTube cover thing or whatever. Now this in the chair, not this particular um mouse pad that I got from the company, but um but this um, art style is what my best friend James actually made for me um, this last Christmas. And he um, actually made this art style for me, which was really nice. So you can see here on this side here, I have my DOC character. And on this side, you have Lewis. Yeah, Lewis from a, Lewis from a B Stars, which I think is really cool. And I also have my new YouTube name and everything as well as some red i decided to make it like this specifically instead of having it in the middle because i knew um because i looked over and i wanted to make sure it was the right side the right size excuse me and this seems to just fit just perfectly just perfectly over my um drawer i have here and i've had this drawer for a little while now not this drawer, this desk, this big mega desk. I'm going to have to show you guys at some point too just how big my new computer set is as well. But um, yeah, my microphone's right there, headphones. And um, this guy fits um, perfectly. It's just wide enough. It's 27 inches. And um, that's why I specifically have this because over here it's like, it's like two, three more inches before it finally... Um, wait, hold on a second. Is it even that? It's, no, it's like an inch. Yeah, it's like an inch overhead off the drawer. And so, 
I kind of figured it's kind of silly to have it kind of be at the direct center, so I figured to move when I was uploading the image to the folks that make the that I got from the custom mouse pad, so I decided to move the image all the way down to the bottom and just kind of leave the black uh, top kind of blank since I'm not really going to um, my uh, keyboard that was sweep. Since I'm not really going to um, uh, do anything with it and you're not going to really see anything on that area anyway that's over on that side. But um, yeah, this is um, really cool. I'm really loving the mouse pads so far. It's definitely a lot more refreshing getting all this new gear and stuff. And I mean, what I've had before um, was my old my old keyboard and old mouse. I might as well show you guys here since um, I have this stuff right here. But um, I don't know if YouTube's going to sue me for this or not, but um, this is pretty much what I had before. This is a World of War... A, World of Warcraft, excuse me, um, mouse pad. This is a very tiny one, and I, it's very kind of sturdy now and everything. Um, but yeah, when I first had my computer and everything, I just used this because no one else was using it in my family, and we've clearly had this for years. I mean, look how tiny this guy is. I can probably sell this on eBay or whatever, maybe get some use of it, but that's the one I've been using before. And this is, you guys are going to probably remember this guy. This guy is my keyboard. I have it wrapped up and everything so that the wires and get every well. It's filthy as hell, though. Goodness, it's dirty. But yeah, I like this keyboard a lot, and I'm planning on using this as a backup in case my current keyboard I have breaks down or whatever stupid bullshit error reason. But, um, yeah, I have the legs, the two leg things you have at the edge. I have the, those closed and everything. And, um, yeah, this used to be my keyboard. And I've had this guy since 2014. As well as my, I'll back down for a bit. As well as my mouse. Ah, kind of a bit of a mess here. But, um, yeah, as well as this guy here. This is my, uh old mouse I used to have. It has the raisin. Uh, you guys can't really see it, but um, if you look at my older videos before, yeah, there you go. Get in there, light. Get in there. It usually um, lights up as well as just this guy. And this guy, it's fine for what it is. It's definitely getting ruined thanks to, I don't know if thanks to, um, my, uh, the mouse. I don't know if it's because of the mouse pad that I've been using for all these years. Since it's so old. I mean, this, this guy right here is like 15 years old. It's like 5, 6 years younger than me, literally. I don't know if it's just that or if it's just the mouse itself. The wires seems to be kind of messed up too as well. If you look over here. Yeah, this guy. This has like a different foam cover. And, um, like a cover from the whole mouse wire itself. And that seems to kind of mess up a little as well. I also, um, you guys may have noticed, I used to have, um, um, wide, a wide gaming headset or whatever that was red and everything. I don't have that anymore because it really fell apart, that headset. So now I just use these guys, these headphones, which is ultra light, and these are rigs a rig x 800 or something i think no it's a no it's a rig 800 lx lx god excuse me i cannot speak today but um anyway yeah so these are the um, wireless headphones which i've used and i love them so far and also came with my uh with its own microphone as well but i just used the current microphone i've been using for years and I've had this guy. I don't know why I kept this guy. I really can't do anything with it. It, cause it came with my um, headset I had before. And so, um, yeah. That's uh, pretty much what I've been... What I pretty much have. Shit, I forgot to put the old mouse pad. 
in now. I have a drawer set here, completely off screen that's on the side. Like I said, I'm going to have to show you guys my uh, my uh, new room. You folks may have already have an idea because everything's changed a lot. And um, everything. I'm going to plug in my keyboard again. Oh, I forget. And again, sorry if this video is cut awkwardly and it has weird... Um, Oh jeez, damn it, you fell asleep again. Whenever this guy falls asleep, it, um... Uh, I'm holding it a bit tight here. Whenever this guy falls asleep, the lights will turn off. Which is nice to an extent, because then it's not fully wasting power. Come on, get in there, connect you. There you go. Now you're nice and green and everything. But, um, yeah, it's definitely nice and so refreshing to have these new, these new keyboard and mouse and this new stuff and everything. And plus, it feels good. It's, there's nothing wrong with my, um, keyboard and mouse at all, but it's just definitely refreshing after five, six years to change. And it's definitely nice and very... It's just very relaxing. It's very refreshing to get new stuff that you already love and kind of up, upgrading them and everything. And I really like that. Instead of it just being green with my colors, I can have it be multiple colors. You can also um, can also change the colors as well. So like I can have this whole all the co LED colors and this mouse be red. Or same thing with my keyboard, be blue or green or whatever the hell I choose. And I think I can have specific sets as well. So like I can have, it's plugged in now, but I can have my whole green sec, have my whole G number section be red or whatever. Then have my number keypad blue, the whole letter key yellow, then arrow keys, freaking purple, whatever. You know, there's much varieties of colors that you can do but you have to have um the wi wireless piece guy um this well, this well not this guy specifically but for the keyboard um you have to have this guy inserted into your motherboard and then have um have your um the software for both of these devices it's the same one the iCore I think is what it's called um, you would have to have them downloaded, just like with the Raisin, ra Razor, excuse me, I keep saying Raisin like the dry fruit Raisin, but like same thing with Razor, well, you would have to have like a certain, you have to download their software in and everything, and then you can open it up and customize or whatever, except with these guys, they do have more variety options, plus it's been such a while since I've last had, since I even really dare to really open the Raisin software. I even I only downloaded it like twice out of the whole time I've had the t those two old keyboard and mouses and I didn't even really bother or really cared much because I didn't think it d just didn't seem that really interesting to me. It's not really interesting to me either with um with the new software with these devices as well because I'm not really that kind of I'm not really a picky person or anything, but I do like the idea that I do have that variety of options. And I do like that they have multiple ways of you connecting to these devices. This guy has to be Bluetooth, unfortunately, because, like I said before, if I try connecting the USB micro stick into uh, my computer, my mic will disconnect, or my webcam, or my headphones I don't know it's always something so far it's been my headphones mostly but it's always like one thing even though my computer can definitely um, support it I don't know if it's just too much pressure for my motherboard and it kind of um, self disconnects one of the things that's also connected to my computer just as a self um, a self protection thing from my getting too overboard or whatever or whatnot I have no idea and I'm not too entirely sure but um anyway I'm rambling on too much so um anyway that's my new um stuff that I have and I'm definitely glad that I have them 
and I'm definitely loving them so far. So um, anyway, without being too long, I hope you folks enjoyed this video. Be sure to leave a like, leave a comment, hit subscribe for more, and I'll see you folks sooner or later. Bye bye everyone.